super fun video. We're doing a lip swatch today. I have tons of these melt lipsticks, more than what's just here. I just can't hang on to all of them. So yeah, we are doing a lip swatch video today and I'm super excited. I love melt lipsticks. This matte formula, I have some already and it is amazing. It's super comfortable. It's a matte lipstick that is not too drying but still long lasting. And of course Melt makes tons of really unique lip colors so I am really excited to bust into these babies and try them all on. So we are just going to get right into this and I'm just going to be picking these colors completely random so I'm going to be just as surprised as you guys to whatever I open up. The first color that we're going to be swatching is called Old Rose and that's exactly what this color looks like to me. It looks like a rosy, taupey nude color. So this is a super easy color to wear. It almost has like a little bit of like a mauve touch to it and maybe that's where that rose color is coming in. But I really like this color. I think I'll get a lot of use out of it. The next color that we have here is called Laced. This looks like a really nice grayish with some lavender in it. I typically love these type of colors. Okay, so I absolutely love this color. This tone of lipstick is my all-time favorite tone. If you guys like uh, Lime Crimes Cashmere, then you would probably love this. This might even have a touch more gray in it than that does, but I absolutely love this color. Um, I can't imagine there being uh, another favorite favorite in the bunch over this, but we're only two in, so let's keep swatching and see, but so far, Oh my gosh, I'm in love with this color. All right, next up is the color Mum. This is a nice, warm, cinnamon brown color. Again, I really love this color too. It is a really nice, cinnamon color. I think it's super wearable and I love it and I'm going to wear this a lot. Okay, next up we have Stepford. This looks like another grayish but a little bit deeper grayish with like more mauve in it. So it looks like it's going to be a little bit darker than the other one that we tried. Wow, so Again, I absolutely love this color. It is just what I thought it was going to be. It, it, it has like a plummy mauve tone to it, but it is still a definite grayish. And I am in love with this color. Okay, the next color that we have is nude. And it looks like literally a nude. It looks like a very pale peachy pink color almost like it could be concealer. Um, I do have some reservations about colors like this only because they tend to just completely erase my lips. But let's go ahead and try it out and see what happens. Wow, so I'm pleasantly surprised. I typically don't like these type of colors. If I do use them, it's with a darker colored lip liner to make kind of like an ombre effect, but never usually on their own. But I have to say that this is actually a really, really flattering nude color. I think because it has more of like a peachy orange tone to it, it actually still looks pretty cute on its own. I do have to say, I, I would actually wear this. I'm shocked right now. Okay. Okay, the next color that we have is 1969, and this is going to be a light peachy caramel color.
So this again is one of those colors that has like a lot of white base in it that I would normally not really gravitate towards, but this is such a unique color and I don't know, there's something about it that I really like. I don't have anything that's even remotely close to this. It almost reminds me of the color of butterscotch, um, like a creamy butterscotch color. I don't know, I'm digging it. I do like it. And the next color that we're gonna try is called Voyeur, and this just looks like a pretty neutral brown nude color. So I think that this is just gonna be pretty universally flattering. Another really interesting nude color. I wouldn't normally gravitate towards something that is this light. I kind of like more of the grayish nudes or something that's like maybe a shade or two darker than this as a nude, but I really, really like this. This might actually be my favorite nude color that I have now. The next color that I have is called On The Go, and this looks like it's gonna be another rosy toned nude. Another really, really flattering nude color. This has a nice rosiness to it. It's a little bit warm really easy to wear. You could literally wear this lip with any eye look. You could wear this with absolutely no makeup. It's just so flattering and I think anybody could wear it. Next up is the color Mural. This is going to be a caramely nude color. Okay, wow. I absolutely love this color too. It's kind of crazy how many favorites I'm finding in this bunch, but this color actually has a good amount of mustard in it. If you guys are looking for like a good mustard colored lipstick, this is definitely a nice wearable one. The next color that we have to try is going to be called 710. And this to me looks like a mustardy camel color also, just a little bit darker than the last one that we tried. How could we possibly have another contender for a favorite top spot in these lipsticks? This color is so good and so unique and it is like a deep saffron mustard color and actually is pretty monochromatic with my eye color here. Okay, the next color that we have to try is called Dark Room and this is going to be like a plummy mauve color. It looks a little bit darker. This is an absolutely stunning deep berry color. It almost looks like a, like a really dark, dark raspberry. I think it's so beautiful. This formula in particular was a bit like stiffer and drier than the others, which being that it's such a dark color, I don't actually mind because I feel like this baby is gonna stay put. Like it's not moving anywhere. It almost feels like a liquid lipstick, but like, like a little bit lighter than a layer of liquid lipstick would be on your lips. So this is really nice. I really, really love this one as well. This next one is called Old Fashioned, and this is a very unique color. It looks like a brownish green color with some gray in it. It almost reminds me of the color of like wet cement. So it looks like it's gonna be really unusual. Okay, another favorite. I can't believe it. This almost is like an olive green color. Like, yeah, olive -y army sort of green, but it has some brown in it, so it's definitely wearable. So unique, and uh, I love it so much. 
This next color I wanted to throw in here. I have used this before. It's not part of this new bundle, but I wanted to just throw it in here because I thought why not while I'm doing the Melt Lip Swatch. But this color is Tomboy. I love this color. It's super unique. It is like a grayish green color. I already know that I love this color, but I just thought that I'd show you guys in comparison to the, all, the, all of the other colors that we're trying out today. Okay, this next color that we have is called Mata, and this is like a bright metallic blue. It almost looks like it might be like an electric blue. So let's go ahead and test this out. Ooh, I really, really like this shade. So it's definitely not a straight up blue. It's almost like a deep, deep teal color. And it does have um, some sparkle in it as well. But I love this. I wasn't sure how I was gonna feel about this when I, when I opened it up. I was like, eh. I mean, blue's great, but this is such a unique twist on it. Wow, I really, really like this. And I also think it looks really good with the mustard eyeshadow, by the way. This next color that we have is called 666, and it, it looks like a wine color, like a dark fairy wine. This color is so beautiful. It is like a really deep, deep red blood burgundy color. It's so gorgeous. Again, I think it looks really flattering with the mustard eyeshadow. This next color that we have is called Bang Bang, and this looks like a nice bright orange. So this is just a really true bright orange color. I love this color. Um, fun fact, several years ago when I was purchasing MAC, I went cruelty free about two years ago and stopped using MAC and any of non-cruelty free products that I had. Um, but one of the colors that I had in MAC that I loved was an orange almost identical to this. Okay guys, so I think that that just about does it for all of the lip swatches. I went ahead and put on, I think my favorite out of the bunch, which is that 710 color, which was um, that like mustard color. It was really, really hard to choose because I had so many favorites this video. I actually can't believe that I loved all of the colors. Um, I mean, usually when you do a swatch of like 15 plus lipsticks, I mean, there's bound to be a couple in there that you're not really feeling, but I don't think that I can say that about this, this video. I'd say maybe like five of them were really, really hard for me to like choose between which one was my favorite. Anyways, I think that that just about does it for today's video. If you guys have any questions, um, please feel free to pop them down below. Also, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And you can also follow me if you'd like on Instagram at Sarah Sargent MUA. That's going to be my makeup page. You can also follow me at Sarah Sargent Pepper. That's going to be my lifestyle page, but I do also throw in some makeup goodies over there as well. So I hope that you guys have a great day, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!